That's what Allah says in the Quran. But you haven't yet read the Quran, so you don't even know what's the plan of the devil. Imagine if I were to tell you, listen, there are robbers who are coming to your business. They are going to scale the wall. They will deactivate the alarms. They will come in from the north and they will actually break the window in this way. They will, have, they will come in and they are planning this and this and this. And I give you the book and I say, listen, if you want to save your business, read this book. You wait, you haven't read it, nothing has happened, and you complain, hey, thieves came. And then I tell you, listen, didn't I give you a book to tell you the thieves would come and how they would steal? And you say, oh, was that the book? That's what we are doing with the Quran. Allah is telling you, there is a devil. He's, he, this is what he will do. He will come, he will rob your iman, he will rob your akhirah, he will rob your jannah, which is your aspiration. He wants to take it away from you. And this is how he will do it. He will come this direction, he will make you think, he will make you that. And this is how you will protect yourself from him. But we've never read the book. A man dies and then Allah asks him, but didn't I send you the book? He says, oh, was that what the book was all about? Okay, 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 send me back. Let me go and now do it. That's what the Quran says. And Allah says, too late, too late. My brothers and sisters, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us direction, to make us strong, to make us from people who aspire for Jannah. And these petty items, yes, we might want to achieve a few things. It's not wrong to have the latest phone. I perhaps do have quite a phone that's quite latest, mashallah. <laughs> it's not wrong to have the latest, but it's wrong to run after it in a way that you miss your main objective. It's wrong to run after it in a way that you miss your main objective. You miss what you're aiming for. What's the, what's the point of having everything you want, but you don't have a link with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It can never bring about contentment. If you have Allah, you will always have contentment even if you have nothing in terms of material items of the world. And if you have all the material items of the world, but you don't have Allah, you will never be able to achieve contentment. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us contentment.